A good 1,400 kilometers east of Australia lies Norfolk Island, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, with roughly 1,700 inhabitants and just 35 square kilometers of land. Yet even here, there is a Porsche. It belongs to Duncan Sanderson, owner of the perhaps loneliest Porsche in the world. Every youngster growing up dreams of one day owning a car like a Porsche. Years ago, I saw a Porsche, I can't remember whether it was in a magazine or TV or whatever, with like a whale tail spoiler on the rear of it, and it really took my eye. There's something so distinctive about the shape of a Porsche that it's recognisable anywhere. The first time I saw the Porsche when the trading ship arrived was when it was lifted out of the hold on the ship and I held my breath while it was swung out over the edge of the ship. My dream of owning a Porsche was sort of, I guess you could say, an accident. I went on to a Japanese auction house website to buy a little truck for our shop. While I was on it, I noted there were several Porsches for sale each day, and I thought, well, it'd be silly not to just to have a look at them anyway. So my little truck turned into a Porsche. One of the bonuses of having a jewellery shop and a Porsche was each morning I would drive down and park the Porsche in front of the shop, and the amount of people who came in to ask whether it was my Porsche I think it brought us more business than any other marketing ploy I could have thought of. On Norfolk Island, unfortunately, there is a speed limit of 50 kilometres an hour, but I have been known to actually slip a little bit with my foot. Since I've been on Norfolk Island, which is almost 60 years, I've never had a speeding ticket. But I think that's more by good luck than good management. Sometimes I wish somewhere in the middle of the island they had an autobahn that I could really let it go. But as I get older, I'm getting over the desire for speed and I just love the feel of the car. You almost feel like it's attached to the road by rails. They're so brilliant on corners. Quite surprisingly for a tiny island, there are approximately 90 miles of road. When driving around the island, one has to be extraordinarily careful. There are cows wandering all over the roads, and the cows have right of way. On the island, if I have spare time and go for a, a run around, I have several places that I just love going to. One is up to the top of the highest hill on the island called Mount Pitt, Cascade Pier, Kingston Pier. It's quite often I'll buy a salad roll or something, go to one of these spots and just sit there and enjoy the view. Visitors stare at it as probably in astonishment that there is a Porsche 911 on the island. The locals all seem to love it and I get plenty of waves and friendly smiles. When it comes to living on the island, I have no desire whatsoever to go anywhere anymore. At 74 years of age, I feel I've been there, done that, and I just want to stay here. It's inhabited by a beautiful lot of people, very, very friendly, helpful, everybody shares. Really, I can't imagine living anywhere else.